Gospel of St. Luke. Lord Jesus. If you look in your devotion to the love of the Lord, understand. The 10th chapter of St. Luke. Oh, 
and power vested in them. They got to do their job and to do praise Lord, what they've been assigned to do. Isn't that right? And you and I have been assigned and then to go and testify of Jesus throughout the whole world. Praise the Lord. And I want you to know, saints of God, that it's time for us to get up and start using our authority. All praise be to God. Sometimes you don't know what you got until someone tells you what you got. I come to tell you today what you got. You might have amen, thought about it and let it slip by your ears. I come to reiterate it today. Amen. You got each and every one of us in the house of God have authority from God. Jesus tells his disciples. I want you to know one thing. These disciples haven't had the privilege at this time. They have to have the privilege that you and I, most of us in the house of God, have today. I pray be to God. He said up to them, glory to God. I give you power. No, but I give you authority. I give you authority to tread in that over serpents and scorpions. No, but I give you this. It's vested by me. You go ahead and do it, praise the Lord. Amen. I got your back. And if I got your back, amen. Heaven got your back. Is that right? Praise be to God. These men have not been baptized with the Holy Ghost and yet at this time. Oh, praise be to God. But Jesus gave them authority. There are people, praise be to God, amen, to this day have been baptized by the Spirit. But they are picking up God's word. Oh, pray be the God, which is one of our authority. Glory to God. I'm going to try to take my time a little bit here. So I get everything across me. And I don't have that ability like other Connie. I have to use no in my young ears. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I pray be the God. What is your authority? And what is your authority? You ask the question. Your authority is given to you by the Spirit of God. And then the Bible says that's what it is. After that, the Holy Ghost come upon you. And then he shall receive power. Oh, pray be the God. You don't have the power to witness for the Lord. And then everywhere you go, power to witness in your home, which is Jerusalem. Power to witness in the neighborhood, which is Judea. Power to witness and then we be all the more parts of the world. Glory to the name of our God. If you escape, no matter where you go, you have this authority from the Lord to be a witness from Him. If you've been baptized by His Spirit, glory to the name of our God. But these men have been baptized, but Jesus gave them authority and the power of God. They meant to have a dominion of the one who He sent.
how your crowd they back up yes. and determine by who gave you the power. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know that? Yeah. Yo, some folks authorize you, but they ain't got no power to authorize you. Right. Right. Is that right? Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. I want you to know you got the power. Amen. Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. That authorized to control heaven, yes. earth, yes. and underneath you. <laughs> hey, God. Yeah. All power, they said. Yeah. Give it unto me. Yes, they give it to me in heaven. Yes. They give it to me in earth. Yes. And they give it to me underneath the earth. Pray, yes. be the Lord. So I got a right to delegate it to who I want to delegate it to. Uh -huh. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Pray, be to God. So he tells his disciples, I'm giving you power right now. Amen. To tread on the surface uh, as scorpion pray to the Lord. I, I give you power right now uh, to tread on all your enemies. Yes. And you don't have to worry. Because yeah. ain't nothing going to hurt you. Right. Nothing going to hurt you. I'm going to get to that a little later too. Pray be the God. Uh, Saints of God, uh, you and I need to know uh, you gave us our Lord. Uh, Jesus did. Yes. 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 He did yes. it yesterday. Yes. He did it today. Yes. And he'll do it tomorrow. Yes. He'll gonna be saved tomorrow. He'll be the one delegating power to you. Well, I was gonna say today, he's the one that delegated power to you. They left for the disciple with him. They left for the day he walked there, he gave them the power. Yes. Father put it in his hand to do it. Isn't that right? Yes. Father put it in his hand to do it. Yes. On whose will he put it? Man, man, go to God. Uh, let me tell you a little story real quick. Uh, I'm going to move right on, praise the Lord. Uh, amen. Pray be to God uh, about who you are. Uh, amen. I'm reminded. Uh, glory to the name of our God. Uh, amen. About Joshua. Uh, when Joshua commissioned by the Lord. Uh, amen. And take the children of Israel uh, all over into the promised land. Yes. Yes. He gave them authority. He said, like I was with Moses. I'm going to be with you. Yeah. Now I just want you to be one type of way. Yeah. Be courageous. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I want you to be courageous. Yeah. That's what it's going to take, saints of God. Yeah. We're going to be courageous. Come on, come on. Uh, pray for Joshua. Uh, we get to take the children of Israel uh, over to the promised land. Pray for obstacles got in their way. Uh, but he was obedient to the voice of the Lord. Uh, and he kept on marching forward. Uh, that's what you and I got to do. Yeah. 
that we from far. No, we, we don't live here. We gonna look like poor, poor, poor folks. We gonna come in under them and make agreements so they don't wipe us out. Police don't have authority to take our land. Well, they have authority to take it. Well, you might somebody need authority to take your land. Well, we 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 special in Connecticut. Yes, I do. Anyway, the main authority is given to individuals. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
Are you crying in there? I'm not crying in there. Yes. I'm not crying in there. Yes. Is that not great? Right now. Right now. Amen. Yeah. That's what Jesus said. I got in the olive garden in heaven and in earth. I'm going to give it to the church. Yes, I'm going to give it to my body. Yes, it's the power of yes. the key in heaven and in earth. Yes. Loosen.
going to take place yes. in his life. Deny the Lord two times. Now, if you pray, then die. Now, when he went to you as a disciple, he said, I'm going to die for you. I'll die for you. Huh? Praise the Lord. Amen. But when he got by himself, uh -huh. huh? sometimes we're like when we're by ourselves, we get afraid to hold on to our testimony. Uh -huh. To live and walk out our testimony. Is that right? You got to take God in the word. He said, I'll be with you. You are never alone. You may thank you, but you not alone. Yes. On the day of Pentecost. Ah, oh, Peter got the Spirit, which gave him authority, which gave him boldness. And pray be to God from that day forth. Now, Peter prayed for himself for one time and got a little afraid, but Paul corrected correct him real on that one. And he got that in order too. But from that day forth, they were Peter didn't walk in fear no more. Yes. They didn't walk in fear no more. They threatened and said, Look, don't tell nobody else about Jesus. You and John, y'all spreading this bad name. You're bringing this blood on us. Lord. He said, We can't help but to testify. That's what we know. Yeah. Huh? He said, We can't help it now. We just can't help ourselves. And when they had to spot, they had to spend the time on themselves. And then they fight, shoving them on. They couldn't keep it to themselves. Yeah. They had to tell somebody else. You got to get it like that. Oh, <laughs> 
in the word of God. Tell them, no, I can't use my body the way you want it to use it. I bought my own flesh. I don't belong to myself. Boy, by the blood of Jesus. So I can't use my body, which is not mine, but the Lord's. You know what I mean? It ain't mine, it's the Lord. Take that of the Lord? Yes, sir. Huh? Should I take that which is the Lord? Yes, sir. Huh? Uh, and mix it in there with bells? Uh, huh? Uh, Shall I make it not be swung together? Uh, huh? Uh, no! Uh, huh? I ain't brought the law to me. Paul said, to me to live is Christ. Yes. And to die is him. Oh, the life I'm not living this sir. I'm living for the Lord. Yes. I'm not living for me. I want to yes, do. Come on. Huh? Yes. But I'm living for the Lord. I can't do what I want to do. Come on. Yes. Huh? I can do what God said. Yes. Is that right? Yes. And he's the one gave me authority to live for him. Yes. And the power to do it. Yes. So I don't have to be under the dominion of the one who had me under the dominion before I knew him. Yes. Come on. Yes. Thank you, God. Let's exercise our authority. Yes. Authority over sickness and disease. Yes. Is that right? When you start getting sick, the Lord, your word says. Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes. You know, sometimes if people get filled with the Holy Spirit, it'll drive some things out of our bodies. Yes. Huh? Yes. Oh, yeah. It'll drive some things out of your body. Oh, yeah. Huh? Because what? Amen. The greater and the strong man have come into, yes. into your temple. Uh -huh. huh? And he's going to drive out some things yes. that have dominion in your life. Come on. Isn't that yes. right? Even some sickness, yeah. even some disease, you're driving out. Yeah. By the power of the Spirit. Yeah. I have said, pray for John said, he going to baptize them with the Holy Ghost and what, and what fire does. Fire consumes stuff. Isn't that right? Yeah. Fire consumes. Sometimes all it takes is that you get the Holy Ghost to get your healing. Uh -huh. Amen? Yeah. Now all it takes is you get the Holy Ghost to get a release from that thing that kept you, that kept you in real. Yeah. I'm a little witness. Is a little witness. Yes, you are there who can testify the witness of God is a little witness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your authority. Your authority. Yes. You're not just a preacher's authority. For these signs shall follow you. Yes. That believe. Yes. Huh? Yes. These signs shall follow them that believe. Yes, sir. In my name. Huh? You're going to cast out devils. Yes, you will lay hand on the sick and they shall recover. Yes, sir. Huh? Come on. Pray be that. Amen. If you take up any deadly thing, it shall not harm you. Yeah. Take the example from the Apostle Paul. He was bit by a serpent. They thought he was going to die. And he took God at his word. Yes, sir. He wasn't with Jesus, praise the Lord, when Jesus was walking on the earth and told his disciples these words. But he had the Spirit of the Lord. Uh -huh. The Spirit of the Lord. Yes. That inspired every writer. Is born inside of you. Come on, yes. But the Bible said, by one spirit, oh, we baptized into one body. One body right. Guess what? The spirit that pops in the of the Bible, guess what? It's the same spirit that same. Now, that same spirit pops in the right of the right. That same spirit can give you understanding. That's what yeah. I mean. yeah. yeah. All right, that's Amen. Is that not right? Amen. Give you understanding what's written. Yeah. Paul said, I come to live with a mystery in Christ. What's a mystery? Something here. Something we're not aware of. Is that right? Praise the Lord. It's in the book. Yes. Let's get up with that authority. So we can exercise. Say to God, let's build up, amen, this northern diocese. Yes. And let's build up every local church. Yes, sir. Yeah. You don't have the ability to do it. Uh -huh. Guess what? We uh -huh. all 
going to live. Isn't that right? Amen. Amen. And so, and Jesus used the word. That's used the word. We start using the word of the devil. Amen. Praise God. A lot of problems go away. Because the devil behind a lot of them problems. Yeah. Get up. Get up. This is it. 